Okay, so it's microgreens, or uh, sorry, wheatgrass testing time. So we've done all the growing, we've done our trial, and now we are gonna juice the wheatgrass to see what the quality is like. Now the unfortunate part about this process is it happens early in the morning, which means you need to see my morning self, and I apologize for that. There are worse things, I've been told. So my juicing setup consists of three parts. I, I take a, you know, a good bundle of wheatgrass and soak it in water. I've got my juicing set up here. I've got a polycarbonate juicer with my juice catch and then this just catches some extra. And then I have my espresso ready to go. If you're not going to do an espresso chaser, there's really no point in doing wheatgrass. It's really all about the espresso. So, um, and key to the whole process is making sure the espresso is really fresh when you take it. I don't want to start it yet. I want to wait till the juice is done. The juice can sit for hours. It doesn't matter. The espresso must be fresh. Um, obviously, many of you know, uh, if you're a wheatgrass fanatic, it's juice and shoot as quickly as possible. So I try to do things fairly quickly here. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go through and juice this one. And... And it's going to take a minute. If you're lucky, I'll edit this. If you're not lucky, you're just going to watch me continue to do this and be like, Jesus, what is this guy doing? This juicer uh, just affixes by suction to the um, countertop. There are, um, there's a clamp on there, but it's just a little bit of a hassle. So I do actually hold this down because sometimes the uh, suction pops off. So you don't need to actually soak the wheatgrass in water. I do it. I find it just goes through the juicer a little smoother if it's wet and it actually produces a little bit more juice. So I'm getting the aroma now from the juice, which is gonna stink up the kitchen all morning and upset everybody else in the household. Um, and it seems pretty good. It actually had a little hint of spice to it, actually. And what I'm really looking for is the level of sweetness. Now, typically when I do wheatgrass and I do it on a seven day cycle, and as a reminder, this was 10 days, seven days is key because often by day eight, the sweetness is gone and it takes on this, it's almost like a moldy flavor. It's not quite, but I don't know best how to describe it. So I am curious about how this lot is gonna turn out. Even uh, it was slower growing. So we ended up on a 10 day cycle. So I'm a little concerned about that. So we'll see how that plays out here. It's really important not to put too much into the juicer at one time uh, or just it jams up and it's actually more likely to pop off. Okay. okay. So that's a slightly bigger shot than I usually do. <laughs> Clearly, I'm trying to show off for an audience this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna run my espresso now. While that happens, I'm just gonna drain the rest of this out of here. Okay, so this is our juice. I'm gonna give it a little smell here. It actually smells quite good. Um, I'm gonna start with a little coffee. Build up some courage. That was quite pleasant, actually. Pretty good level of sweetness. And I actually have been just juicing it um, without soaking in in water recently, which does make it more intense. So the nice thing about the water is it does dilute it a bit. It can be very intense, and there's some days I can, I can barely stand it. Um, you will have noticed whether or not I made the wheatgrass face there, and that is a good indicator of how intense it is. And if I did do a wheatgrass face, it was just a minor one because it was quite good. So 
Oh, but now it's oh, no. now it's kind of coming on. Whew. Sorry, sorry, you had to see that. Uh, so what we're, what I'm seeing here is I'm really happy with the end product. Jesus, it's intense. Holy shit. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have done such a big shot, um, but now it's going to be like I just had some cocaine for the rest of the day. So I'm okay with that. Um, the um, so the quality here is pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Uh, again, my yield, the crop cycle is a little long, the yield is a little high, but the quality turns out good. So as we go into the next round of trial here, it's going to be looking at how can we speed up growth to get our yield on day eight, basically. Day seven to eight, that's fine. Ten days is way too much. So the way I'm going to do that is by uh, having some water in the tray so I can run the, the heat mat underneath and by having some um, separate trials so I can uh, give them some different levels of nutrient and see if nutrient helps speed up that cycle. So here's hoping for the best. I may get started on that today. Uh, and once I do, I'll film that and get it posted as soon as I can.